Welcome to my bindings how-to videos. Today's question is how to spiral bind papers. Spiral binding, as it's commonly known, is actually referred to as coil binding in the binding industry. And that is simply taking papers and a cover, a spiral-shaped bind or a coil bind, putting them all together for a great looking presentation. As you would imagine, there are many coil binding machines and systems on the market today. We'll use the iCoil 41 by Achilles to do a demonstration step by step of how to bind a book with a spiral or a coil bind. We picked this small scale machine to use because it contains all the steps of the process of coil binding, including an electronic coil inserter. The first step is to take the covers of your project, but the side is to be punched into the punching throat of the machine on the back side. Here's where you adjust the side margin control to set the machine so that all punches are consistent throughout your entire project. And you make your punch by pulling the lever down. Some punching machines are electronic in this feature. Next, you punch through all the sheets of your project. You'll do this in smaller batches and according to the punch capacity of the machine you're working with. Once you've punched through all your sheets, assemble your book in order. Now it's time to bind. This is where you need to choose the right size coil or spiral bind for your project. Many of the coil binding machines on the market have very useful measuring tools built into the machine so that you can decide what is the right size coil for your size project. The binding process is generally begun by hand by threading or twisting the coil spine through the first few holes of your book. And you'll continue to thread the bind of your book with the coil either by hand or by an electronic coil inserter. As you could imagine, this feature is pretty handy and makes things much faster. The finishing touch of coil binding is used with coil crimping pliers. With a simple squeeze, the end of the coil is snipped off and the end is twisted in for a great looking finish. And there it is, the how-to of how to spiral bind papers. For other articles, how-tos, demos, and reviews on all things binding, check out mybinding.com.